And Ms. D'Amato, she's a really interesting teacher. Really friendly. She has a lot of fun at her job. Very excited to start working. It was her first year as a teacher. She's been very positive, very, and she's had a good sense of humor. I met her in August this past year at the new teacher orientation for the school. So we were starting the same year at the school. Uh, she told me she used to be a barista. So that was nice because I knew she made good coffee. For a while, I thought I was going to open my own coffee shop. So I was making all those pretty designs and people's lattes. Then I started managing one and I realized how much I hated it. Also, I'm not good at math so it probably would not have been a good idea. I really stayed with it so that I could finish school. I decided to teach Italian because back in the day, my grandmother, uh, who was fluent in Italian and was her first language, she refused to teach her kids so they didn't learn. Uh, and because they didn't learn, we didn't learn. My sister and I decided to teach ourselves Italian in order to connect back to our roots. And throughout college, that's when I really started learning. It was the only subject that ever gave me joy. I like how funny and ecstatic she is like about teaching the class because you can see like how she's very passionate about what she teaches. It's really fun having her as a teacher. She really knows what you struggle with and she really helps you a lot. She gets her students. Oh, the kids are great. They're fun. They're all very respectful too. You know, I'm surrounded by studious, studious little students all day. Having her as a teacher is really fun and she makes class really interesting. Whenever I'm in Mr. Model's class, she makes it seem really important. She doesn't really care who you sit with. As long as you're doing the work, it's really fun. You know, her classes seem quieter. Seems like more students are working. She seems, you know, more confident. She seems happier. Seems like uh, things are kind of coming together. It's kind of nice to look at her and see how she's growing and think about how it was for me when I was in her shoes. And I see her just getting more comfortable in what she's doing and that's great. You know, it's been a difficult thing because she's created this whole curriculum, no Italian curriculum, so she's created it. I don't think that there is an emphasis on learning other cultures, learning other languages within the education system. Uh, for example, in New York, you only need one year of a language in order to graduate high school. When it comes to the job market, they're not looking just for experience. They're looking for the ability to be able to connect to others. If you can't connect to another person, you're likely not going to get that job. You can edit like the little giggles, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay.